Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. Uh, this is Friday, the weekend is almost upon us. So um, today I'm going to be using some stellar, stellar products. Um, some of these were sent to me, some uh, I bought out of my own pocket, <laughs> which um, is always a good thing. Always nice to spend uh, money on shaving stuff. And it's always nice to be sent stuff as well. Very, very kind people in this shaving community, as I'm sure you all know. Okay, so what are we using today? Well, uh, the cream I'm going to be using is new. The bowl is new and the brush is new. Um, but let's start by putting the time that the shave starts on the screen right now. If anyone wants to skip to that, you can go and skip to the start of the shave. Um, cut out all this um, blah 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 um, I don't know, some people might like to see it, what I'm using but um, some people might not, so here's the time on the screen now Okay, let's start with uh, some Perazzo pre-shave um, Someone left a comment, Jack, Jack left a comment saying I'm not sure if it, actually if it was on my Instagram page saying um, Kevy, I hope you don't, don't mind me saying this as a friend. Uh, do you consider me a friend? Of course, everyone who watches my videos uh, and takes time to watch and takes time to leave a comment, I consider them a friend. So um, he said, you've not used the Parasso white pre-shave in a while, and I haven't, so let's use it today. Uh, let's just get things started. Yeah, so let's just uh, scoop a massive bit out like that, rub it on the hands and then apply it to the whiskers. Yeah, I've usually um, been using a pre-shave oil, but the Parasol pre-shaves are very good. This one has a, a little bit of menthol in it. It's a nice scent. And um, Jack said he used it. Jack Gillespie, I couldn't remember remember your second name there Jack, sorry. <laughs> yeah, after calling you a friend, I don't even remember your name. Uh, Jack Gillespie, uh, he said, he used this pre-shave and it was one of the best shaves he's ever had. And um, Jack actually writes blogs about his shaves and stuff like that. I'll put the link for one of them in the description. And you can go and take a look. Yeah. So I'll just work that in. Looks good. How is everyone doing? Are you looking forward to your weekend? I know I certainly am. Uh, and it's uh, kicking off with this wonderful shave, which I will now get into after I've wiped my hands. Um, I will put the lid back on the Parasso. Nice. Okay, let me show you first the brush, which has been soaking in this Parasso Super Soaker. See, I'm hiding it there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a badger brush. I'll give it a little squeeze just to show you it's been soaking. Uh, I recently bought this at the Gentleman's Groom Room at the meetup, the Scottish Wet Shavers meetup. Uh, and it's this. This is a DR Harris H2 Badger Brush. Uh, it has the DR Harris logo in there. Uh, and the address 92, is it 29 St James Street, London, SW1A. Yeah, so you turn it around. Best Badger, made in England. Uh, and there's the DR Harris signature, chemist and perfumers. Yeah, lovely little brush. Feels nice in the hand. The knot's not too big, it's not too small. Just right. So I'll put that back into the soaker. It's been soaking for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Uh, that's the brush. Okay, uh, as I was saying, some people in this wet shaving community, most people are really nice. Uh, some are very generous 
uh, and I was contacted by an Italian wet shaver called Rocco Contini. Uh, now, Rocco um, makes his own bowls, shaving bowls, uh, and he said, could he send me one? So I said, yes. So here's the bowl uh, in question. I'll show you it now. There it is there. And it has these beautiful ridges in it. Yeah, very nice. Nice handle on it as well. Uh, and on the bottom, as you can see there, RC for Rocco Contini. These uh, Rocco makes these all himself. Uh, I'll show you inside the ridges. So you can see them, look at that. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Nice colour. Yeah, there's the ridges there. Very nice. Uh, all the way from Italy. So thank you, Rocco. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna put Rocco's email address. If you wanna contact him uh, and get a price for stuff like that and stuff, um, you can. I think if you if you tell him that um, you subscribe to Kevy Shaves, he's gonna give you a little discount. I'm not sure how much, but uh, I'll put his email in the in the link in the description, um, and you can contact him. So I'm gonna be using that bowl with the ridges from Rocco. Wonderful. Um, the razor, which I haven't showed you, is going to be the Rockwell 6S. Uh, all stainless. Uh, these plates on the bottom go from 1 to 6, 1 being the most mild, 6 being the most aggressive, uh, and I'm going to use it on plate number 6. And the blade I'm going to put in that is a Gillette Wilkinson sword. Second use on that blade. Uh, and here is the box for those. So this uh, razor comes apart. This is probably my favourite razor just now actually. Um, there's the blade. There's the other side of the blade. So it goes on like so. And then whatever side you have the number showing, so I've got number six showing there, that's uh, how aggressive the plate is. So six being the most aggressive, but it is a very, very smooth feeling. Uh, I love this razor. Yeah, all stainless, great weight, uh, great knurling on the handle. Very, very good. So that's the, the bowl and the pre-shave and the brush. Let's show you the soap, which uh, Rocco also sent all the way from Italy, and I've never used uh, this brand before. Uh, this is Extro Cosmesi, uh, you can see it there. And that guy on the front there is Donato Cignello. I hope I'm saying that correctly, Donato Cignello. Um, he makes the soaps. Uh, and this one is Bergamotto di Calabria. Bergamotto di Calabria. This is good, I like um, pronouncing things properly. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, um, Rocco and uh, anyone else watching from Italy. Uh, yeah, th this is a, an Italian cream and this is obviously Bergamo uh, and Calabria is a, a region of Italy. Uh, so it's uh, Bergamo from there and the scent on this soap is amazing, citrus, it's just beautiful. Um, you can see here, I don't know if that, that will pick it up, um, you can see there's extra stamped into it. It's probably uh, just kind of moved about in shipping from Italy, but you can, it doesn't, you can't really see it there, but if I hold it back a bit, you may be able to make it out. It does say extra. It's a cream, very soft. Uh, this is a glass jar, and if you hold it up like that, look, it looks like it's got little pieces of lemon inside it. Well, you maybe, maybe the camera's not picking that up, but um, if I look through that, it looks, it just looks like lemon. It's beautiful. Yeah, glass jar, nice label. Um, I'll show you the ingredients and you can pause that if you want. Yeah, this is a artisan shaving soap, 
vegetable with citrus extract. Yeah, so it's a vegetal soap, no tallow or anything in this. Lovely plastic lid, great packaging on these soaps. I think you can pick these up in the UK from a uh, shaving station. Yeah, so I'm uh, going to be using that today. So let's uh, scoop some out. I will just scoop out a whole load. Yeah, that much. Uh, and I will proceed to put it into the ridges of this uh, bowl. I'll kind of just try and show you guys what I'm doing. So just putting it into the ridges here. Yeah, these ridges are really deep. Uh, great for just pressing the soap into it. Uh, I'm going to try and show you it, lathering it up. <laughs> whether, whether that works or not, I'm trying to hold that at a funny angle to the camera, but um, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, let's move the soap over to there. We'll take the brush, give it a little squeeze. Uh, I'll just wipe my finger that had the soap on it. And I will try and show you this lathering up. Yeah, as you can see, look, it's uh, building the lather already with this. DR Harris brush. Let me just. Uh, the good thing about the ridges, you can really work the soap or cream. <laughs> it's a uh, citrus heaven. Yeah, you can see it now. Look, it's really starting to build up. Yeah, beautiful bowls. Thank you very much, Rocco. I've heard very good things about these um, soaps. Italians know what they're doing when it comes to soaps and creams. They just know. Wow. What a scent. Look at this. Look at that. I'm just going to add a a little bit of water there. Can you see how much uh, cream is in there? Yeah, probably added way too much, but I don't care. <laughs> I'll use it, I'll use it as a face wash. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water, see if we can take it. And the answer is yes, it can. Look at this. Spilling out the sides here. What a great bowl. Can you see how much uh, cream is in there? Look at that. <laughs> okay. Let's um, bring this to the face now. Riley, that was uh, that was the bowl banging on the. He's crazy. <laughs> oh, look at this! Yeah, this little badger brush. If anyone wants to uh, jump on a plane from Italy and come over, um, there's enough lather here for um, the whole of Rome. <laughs> what a great way to start the weekend. Putting that back in the bowl. Just dipping the tips of the brush. Yeah, for a, a vegetal cream or well, I would call it a crop actually. 
it's uh, it's quite thirsty, but the scent is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I hope you can see okay with the sun coming in. for the weekend. Really? That sounds interesting. And a shave too. Excellent. Okay, let's go with the uh, success on six. With the uh, extra soap cream croup. Bergamotto di Calabria. Every time I shave, there's a siren goes past. I don't know if you heard that there, but um, this razor is superb. Yeah, so um, the uh, the main man at Extro, Donato Cignello, your soap is excellent. Actually, I was doing some um, just kind of some research before I uh, start the shave. I usually like to kind of try and translate what things are and stuff like that. Um, but I noticed that uh, Aqua de Parma do a, a scent. I think it's called. I think it's called this, I'm not sure if it's called exactly the same, but um, yeah, I noticed that they did one, so I'm not sure if this soap is based on that or what. But what a great soap. Great slickness. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, pass number two. Look how much cream is in this bowl. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, this little brush is really, really good. Very soft. It actually feels like a, a silver tip badger. Add some more cream. Yeah, I'm getting a lemon bergamot. A little bit of lime. Just really, really nice. A great summer scent, look at that. Look at the peaks. <laughs> Ah, 
What a way to get ready for the weekend. Yeah, I can feel the uh, quality in this cream. Or soap. It's just, it's more of a crop really. It's a kind of soft soap. Okay, keeping the uh, success on plate number, where are we? Six. Great feedback. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm trying hard not to, uh, any time I use an Italian soap, I always seem to sing. And so I'm, uh, I'm trying hard not to do that. Bergamotto di Calabria. Don't care. You know, when I, um, when I use the one that uh, has the SV in it. <laughs> I always sing. And you know what the song is. But I'm trying not to sing with this one. Listen. Two passes. Whoa, wow. The residual slickness is great. Okay, let me rinse, come back for pass number three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pass number three. I just, uh, I looked into the bowl and I couldn't see the brush. The brush had uh, fallen in under the soap, into the soap, and it was lost. <laughs> so I've, uh, I've fished it out and uh, We'll just paint this on again. Yeah, it's maybe a, a little bit wetter than it should be, but uh, it's still working wonderfully well. I maybe added just a little bit too much water. It's the first time I've used that uh, the soap, so... Always difficult to gauge it the first time, but... It's certainly doing the job. Yeah, Rocco's bowls. Bowls, I said. Rocco's bowls uh, <laughs> come in all different colours. Uh, he makes them in this colour, which is blue. Uh, he does like a black and white speckled thing. Actually, if I've got a picture, I'll try and find a picture. He did send me a picture of the, the different colours that he makes. I'll. Put it on the screen right now. Mm. 
yeah, so that's the different colours he makes. As I say, I'll put his email in the uh, description. And you can contact him. Yeah, he said he would do a, a special deal um, for people who subscribe to my channel on YouTube. So contact him and I'm sure he'll let you know all the details. Very nice. Okay, third pass. I'm going to start on this side. Keeping this on plate number six. Yeah, plate number six is known as the uh, the toast scraping plate. As you can hear. Yeah, I've yet to find uh, or use a razor that's as comfortable as this. It just works! <laughs> Bergamotto di Calabria Sorry. Yeah, uh, so what are your plans for the weekend? I was asking earlier in the shave. Uh, is it still barbecue weather where you are? It's um, it's okay here. It's not too bad. It's bright. Let's see. It's been. Uh, it's not as warm as it was. Hello, any new subscribers? Thank you for uh, subscribing, thank you for joining us here uh, on the Kevy Shaves shaving channel. And uh, hello to all my usual subscribers. You know who you are, and you're keeping it real. And I've not said that for ages, but I just appreciate everyone who has uh, subscribed, who watches, these videos and uh, leaves a comment. Not just the ones that leave a comment, the ones that watch as well. Even if you watch for like two minutes, I, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, three passes done. Let's have a little rinse and a feel about. Oh, that is excellent. That's soap. Yeah, a little bit under here. There, there's honestly enough cream here for... Can you see how much is left? <laughs> I should just do another pass. Oh, the scent. Oh, what the hell? 
I'll just do a quick, <laughs> a quick four pass shave. Yeah, the uh, the cream soap. What do I, what do I call it? I'm just going to call it a soap. The soap is excellent. It's that good. I am. Um, I want to do another pass, <laughs> but there's nothing left there to shave. Unless anyone's in a hurry, are they? Anyone in a hurry or we do <laughs> See if there's enough soap left to have a little <laughs> face wash. Yeah. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. Mm. Like a lemon meringue. That's what this looks like. Okay, I'll uh, I'll just wash my face with this leave it on and then I'll clean the brush and bowl and stuff out and I'll see you for the post shave in uh, half an hour. <laughs> see you soon. Bergamotto! Beautiful um, post shave feel from that soap. Okay, let's start the post shave with um, Thayer's lemon. I'll splash it up. Uh, keep the citrus theme going. Very nice. Skin feels great, really good. Soft and uh, moisturised, conditioned, excellent. Uh, okay, now the splash, uh, Rocco very kindly sent this over as well. It's uh, the match to the soap, which is Bergamotto di Calabria. Uh, but as you can see, it kind of leaked a little bit. There's a little bit of uh, leaked out in the packaging, and this was wrapped in bubble wrap. So the bubble wraps kind of went onto the label, but that's okay. But the only problem is you cannot see Donato Cinello's handsome face making his soap there. So um, you can kind of make it out a little bit, but yeah, that's just a shame, but that's what I'm going to use. So here's the, uh, the ingredients if you want to take a look. Yeah, it's the same scent as the soap. Comes off like that. There's a little restrictor there. I'll just give it a shake. And a good glug of that. Oh, nice little burn. Oh, if anything, that's uh, stronger than the soap. Wow. Oh, that smells incredible. Very nice. 
just uh, wiping the top there, putting the lid back on. Wow! Oh, I really wish you could smell this. It's uh, it, oh, it's just incredible. Okay, um, the balm. I didn't have anything in a lemon except for the Loxadan Cedrat, which is a, a lemon scented balm. So we'll just have a little bit of that. What a shave. <laughs> I can't I can't tell you how um good this feels. Look at that. Yeah, really, really good. Okay. What did we use today? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you. Uh we started off with the Parasso White Pre-Shave. Not used it for a while, very good. Done the job, softens the bristles up. Yeah, you don't need much. Uh, the razor for today, the wonderful, wonderful Rockwell 6S uh, on setting six. Plate number six for all three passes and the pickups. Yeah, excellent razor. I'll, this is my favorite razor, um, definitely. Always gives me a good shave. Inside that I had a Gillette Wilkinson sword. Second use on that blade. The brush today, new brush, using it for the first time. DR Harris H2. Uh, look at the bloom on that now. Yeah, great little brush. Very, very nice. No smell from it. You can still smell this soap. Yeah. Beautiful little brush. Excellent, I love it. Dear Harris H2. Uh, the soap for today was uh, this. Look how much I scooped out. It was uh, Extro, Extro Cosmesi Bergamotto di Calabria. Made by the very talented Donato Cignello. Sir, you are a talented man. Um, scent on the soap is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. If you love, if you love citrus, you like citrus. Who just likes citrus? Everyone loves citrus. You have to try this soap. Um, yeah, very good. A thumbs up from Kevy Shaves for that. Thank you very much, Rocco Contini. We used um, his shaving bowl, the new one. Uh, it comes like this. There it is there with the beautiful ridges inside it. Worked up the lather like a treat. Uh, on the other side, there is his signature RC, Rocco Contini. Thank you very much, Rocco. Uh, as I say, I'll put his email address and you can contact him and tell him that Kevy Shaves sent you and you will get a little bit of a discount. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much Rocco can uh, knock off the price, but he has said that he will give a discount to any subscribers of mine. So tell him that Kevy Shaves sent you and you want one of his bowls. Yeah, look at these ridges. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that was the bowl, the soap, the razor, the blade, the bloody blah. <laughs> the bloody blah. Um, the post shave, we had a little face wash with the mountains of lather that was left. Uh, post shave, there's lemon witch hazel. The splash, matching splash. Sorry about these dots, but um, that's what happens in transit, I guess. Uh, Bergamotto di Calabria. I hope I'm saying that properly. Um, yeah, great splash. Actually stronger than the soap. But beautiful lemony citrus scent. Uh, and finished it off with L'Occitane Cidrat. So we've had English, French, Italian, uh, USA, USA, that's it. There's the shave. <sighs> Ready to enjoy the weekend, wow. Uh, I hope your shaves, I pr 
pray that your shaves are as good as this one feels right now or just felt for the last uh, however long, 40 minutes, something like that. Um, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. Uh, shave. Just enjoy your shaves. Enjoy life. Enjoy meeting people. Enjoy saying hello. When you go outside, say hello to somebody. Hello. Riley. Hello. Riley's uh, seeing someone outside. That's him saying hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Until the next time. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. I love you all. And thank you once again, Rocco Cantina. You're the man. Thank you. See ya. Take care.